सदाशिवसमारंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमस्मदाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराणालीकुणाली नमाय भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंक शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव वादरायण सूत्रभाष्यृत वंदे भगवत पुनः पुनः ईश्वर गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योम व्योप्तदेहाय दक्षिणाूर्त नमः ओं सहनावत सहनौ नक्त सह वीरकवाह तेजस्वीतमस्तमाशावे ओं शांच शांच शांति ओं यो ब्रह्मण विदातिपुर वेदाश्च प्रहिणोति तस्म तवं हृदय आत्मबुद्धि प्रकाश मुक्षुरुवे शरण हम प्रपद्ये ओं शांच शांच शांति कामनायांतिकसंसिध्यमाध्यातर्जितनंदघनमापूर्णमात्मज्योतिपास्मे किंच दि इंट्रोडक्शन टू दि सेवेन्टीन सूत्र we did the 16 sutra right yoch iti tan matram chaitanya ja i think so kincha prapancha pratyakhyana mukhena brahmana upadeshad api brahma nirvishesham eva so what has been inquired earlier by the puro pakshi nanu kidrusham nirvishesham brahma between savishesha and nirvisheshva both are not possible savishesha is not mukhya therefore it is not possible tatpure vishesha is nirvishet nirvisheshatva of brahma brahma is nirvishesha said the siddhanti now what does that mean when you say brahma is nirvishesha to that the answer was given ahacha tanmatram chaitanya matra <coughs> chaitanya matra is the meaning of nirvishesha brahma brahma is nothing but eka rasa chaitanya rasa ghana tattva सच्चिदानंद इज अ सिंगल इंडिविजिबल लिमिटलेस कॉन्शियस्नेस दैट इज मीनिंग नाउ किंच प्रपंच प्रत्याख्यान मुखेन ब्रह्मण उपदेशादि ब्रह्म निर्विशेषम वाई इज इट निर्विशेष वाई नॉट सविशेष ऑलसो टू दैट अनदर रीजन इज बीइंग गिवन because there are neti neti shruti which are negating the savisheshatva of brahma this reason was given in the vritti in one way or the other earlier as well now what is being said is that if at all brahma is savishesha then the negating shrutis will become futile so prapancha pratyakhyana mukhena the prapancha as karya is negated as really existent it has mithya existent vyavaharika satta but it does not have parmartika satta to that effect what has been said prapancha pratyakhyana mukhena mukha can be seen as dwara or looking at such kind of a possibility as prapancha is being negated as being really existent thereby also brahma is taught through such methodology brahma is not karya then prapancha karya does not exist in its reality then how will brahma remain karana also thereby further neti neti shruti will say that it is not karya it is not karana also brahma is not karya brahma is not karana also because karya prapancha has been negated then karanatva akanksha itself is not there if swapna prapancha has been negated on waking up then we don't ask as to what happened to that prapancha now who is the creator of this swapna prapancha swapna prapancha is not there at all in waking state there is no pra- swapna prapancha nobody asks as to okay what about that prapancha in swapna is it still there who made that that kind of a question does not arise in waking state at all similarly when the prapancha jagrat prapancha itself is negated as not really existent then 
हाउ कैन देर बी अ क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग टू हू क्रिएटेड दैट प्रपंच इज ब्रह्म कारण और नॉट सो ब्रह्म कारण हैज टू बी एक्सेप्टेड ओनली एज लॉन्ग एज प्रपंच इज सीन एज कार्य प्रपंच कार्य एक्सिस्टंट एज लॉन्ग एज प्रपंच इज एन एक्सिस्टंट कार्य सो लॉन्ग ब्रह्म रिमेन्स टू पर ब्रह्म परमात्मा रिमेन्स टू बी कारण वी के नॉट से दैट ईश्वरा इज इन देर एज लॉन्ग एज प्रपंच इज देर वॉट इट मीन्स इज दैट when we say prapancha is mithya that time the sharira of the sadaka is also mithya it is part of prapancha so one cannot say that the prapancha is mithya therefore ishwara is not needed and i am existent in the sharira jiva is there that is complete misunderstanding and therefore people have trouble those who do not understand the tatparya vishaya that the shruti especially the vivarana interpretation in eka jeeva vada or drishti srishti vada is making that even the srishti drishti vadins the masses of uh, sampradaya themselves do not understand they say that how can prapancha and ishwara be negated and jeeva be there nobody is saying that the samsari jeeva is existent and ishwara is not there as long long as samsari jeeva is there the prapancha cannot be negated because prapancha negation means the samsaritva of the jiva including the sharira being negated that time ishwara is not called for at all because there is no akanksha at all no maya is needed no ishwara is needed there in that sense as to the which ishwara that ishwara who has been defined in brahma sutra second sutra as janmadhyasya tah janma sthiti and laya is due to which entity that is defined as brahma janma sthiti and laya of what of prapancha that prapancha has been negated by neti neti by saying uh, uh, you know sarvam khalvidam brahma when prapancha has been negated that time ishwaratva as defined does not make sense at all we are not saying parmatma in the swarupa of sachidananda is not there that is not the meaning it is not going to be become buddhism or vijnanavada at all what is being said is that that jagatkarta ishwara is not needed any more who is revealed by the shruti because prapancha has been accepted as real by the jiva now the jiva knows that prapancha is mithya at this stage whereby he knows that my sharira is also mithya because prapancha starts from bhuta srishti then bhautika his sharira stula sharira as well as sukshma sharira is bhautika across various shrutis we have seen that sukshma sharira is also mithya so stula sharira sukshma sharira being mithya which drags this jivatma who is by swarupa brahma into samsaritvam that samsara cannot be said to be there so who is this karma phala data ishwara no to whom will he give karma phala there is no jiva at all who is samsari to whom karma phala is accruing at all there is no karma phala data needed there therefore prarabdha alone continues as long as prarabdha is there ishwara is giving that prarabdha phala or which he has already given and is continuing at the janma or opening of the day ishwara has given the karma phala in the roop of of prarabdha that as long as the jnani is deha continues so long ishwara is giving that phala in that manner it can be accepted that avidya lesha is also there because prapancha is being cognized by the jnani jnani may be available for others for loka sangraha jnani may be just present blessing giving mantrakshata etc or teaching whatever is the prarabdha of the jnani we have seen this elaborately in vichar sagara parakruta prarabdha ityadi thereby this jnani is continuing to live in the society the way others see therefore such prarabdha of the sharira being seen by others that has to be accepted and as long as that is there and jnani is seen as interacting with others in the prapancha we have to assume that the jnani has prarabdha shesha prapancha is being cognized by the jnani in some way therefore avidya lesha shesha a little bit of avidya like the momentum of the already shot arrow has to be accepted and in that sense that avidya which is not binding on the jnani is accepted
so what kind of avidya lesha what is remaining the remnant of the the remnant of avidya is not binding on the jnani that kind of avidya is remaining which will fructify as prarabdha of the jnani which as long as the prarabdha continues that is all that is being said therefore there is no ishwara needed in the sense of karma phala data as jagat karta because prapancha is mithya including the jnani sharira to which the phala is given the phala does not accrue to anything which is in swarupa atma or brahma there cannot be any phala to brahma brahmatma therefore the phala has to be accepted to the stula sharira and sukshma sharira which are jada which are achetana and the chaitanya samanda itself has gone therefore the as soon as jnana takes place the sanchita and agami karmas are burnt agami which is still going to take place the karma which is going to be generated by the jnani deha that also gets burnt immediately as soon as it is created because there is no claimant there is no individual who is claiming to have done karma and expecting a phala therefore ishwara has no role there at all jnana itself jnana rinda uh, basmi syat or what is said is that basma uh, sat kurute so karsnena uh, completely the karma is burnt prarabdha has to be accepted for this reason although jnani has no connection to that prarabdha karma also still it is accepted as being there otherwise jnani sharira will drop off if jnani sharira always drops off on jnana then where is the sampradaya there is no teaching sampradaya at all and we have a teaching sampradaya that is our first prayer first mangalacharana shloka in every patha therefore we cannot say that prarabdha isn't there although we say that prarabdha has no bearing on the jnani proper meaning there are stages of uh, jnana also meaning stages of jnanis uh, based on the antakrana of the jnani there are stages why do we say there are stages of jnana although there are no stages of jnana once jnana has taken place meaning uh, the doubtless knowledge has taken place still there is prarabdha which is binding on the sharira so which is binding on the sharira which is sukshma sharira also that may create viparita bhavana and that viparita bhavana can be countered or may not be countered by the jnani based on the type of the jnani therefore we say that there are gradations in jnani and which appears to be gradations in nishtha of the jnani therefore appears as gradations in jnana of the jnani it appears so but the gradation is in the jnani sharira therefore there is no gradation in jnana itself jnana is the same but being in that jnana is different from for different jnanis thereby what happens is that we have to accept some prarabdha which is not binding on the jnani if the jnani is an uttama jnani if he is not an uttama jnani meaning his antakarana does not allow that kind of a nishtha then what will happen he is an adhama jnani or a jnani matra what is called in shastra as jnani not a adhama jnani but jnani matra adhama jnani is not a good term one can say that is a jnani matra and then there are gradations revealed in uh, you know yoga vasishta kind of granthas where saptama bhumika are taught so right from the stage fourth uh, the jnani is free meaning there is vidhe mukti jnani won't be born again but then as long as prarabdha is there he may have ananda bhoga or may not have ananda bhoga based on prarabdha and what kind of ananda is there in the antakarana that is dependent on his nishtha and nishtha is dependent on viparita bhavana which is opposing his continuous jnana vritti brahmakara vritti so therefore there are gradations anyway this is an aside to understand as to what is the uh, real tatparya in the shastra here that we are looking at so now this nirvisheshatva brahma brahma's nirvisheshatva is being taught by neti neti that is where i, I took a uh, deviation to elaborate this this neti neti is brahma is not karana at that stage where karya including the jiva sharira sadaka sharira is seen as mithya we have to understand very clearly that when we say prapancha is mithya that time prapancha's 
भौतिक कार्य बीइंग भौतिक कार्य भूत भौतिक कार्य शरीर इज पार्ट ऑफ दैट विच इंक्लूड द सूक्ष्म शरीर आल्सो देयर फोर देयर के नॉट बी अ क्लेम एज टू प्रपंच इज मिथ्या and ishwara is also not needed to be accepted but my sharira and my antakarana is there that is not at all acceptable which is not a claim made by any vedantin new vedantins may make that we have uh, absolutely no uh, uh, commitment to new vedanta or new vedantin so what we are looking at is orthodoxy vivarana sampradaya drishti srishti vada ek jeev vada is also acceptable where it is clearly known that jiva is brahma abhinna and the avidya is same as maya shakti therefore second jiva is not really needed to be accepted so there is no issue if one says that there are many jivas also and one if one says that there is only one jiva i am that jiva who is the sadaka so sadaka from the sadaka drishti everything else is mithya including his own sharira and once he starts seeing mithyatva in his sharira in his antakarana also then he need not associate it associate with anything there is nothing else needed so sanyase eva adhikara bhagwan bhashyakara clearly says that when this prapancha seems like even not leading to any result that is expected by the seeker then itself everything should drop off vairagya is a it has to be the result the, one cannot say that there is no vairagya and i am seeing mithyatva in the prapancha it is not mithyatva there, there is no jnana there it is jnana bhasa and we see a lot of this and the reason i am specifically mentioning this is that the past uh, few uh, weeks i have i have spent on uh, reddit and in reddit on reddit uh, in these uh, advaita vedanta groups are all taken over by uh, you know uh, mlechas there there is there are there are hardly any uh, indians per se and by nicknames you cannot know who is an indian who is not an indian who is actually sanatani by indians also i mean who is a sanatani who is a non sanatani and in that also there are barely any traditionalists or who follow orthodoxy so you see all of this you know on sanskrit groups or on in uh, uh, vedanta groups they are all been taken over by uh, these new vedantins and everything there the discussion there is all uh, you know anything goes that kind of an interpretation so this is an aside to just be uh, you know beware of this as to where we learn from and our resources etc so back to our uh, subject here kincha prapancha pratyakhyana mukhena brahmana upadesha api brahma nirvishesha and brahma has to be taken as nirvishesha in tatparya in reality सविशेषत्वे एव तत्सिद्धे इफ यू द पूर्व पक्षी सेज दैट ब्रह्म ए सविशेष नॉट निर्गुण निर्विशेष बट सगुण सविशेष देन व्हाट विल हैपन सविशेष वाक्य वी ऑलरेडी सीन एज टू व्हाट अर्लियर वी हैव सीन दि पूर्व पक्षी कोटिंग सर्व काम सर्वगंध सर्वरस इत्यादि सो दे आर ऑल सविशेष वाक्या और इवन सविशेष है जगत कारणत्व वाक्या ऑल्सो सविशेषत्व वाक्या दे कैन ऑल्सो सीन एज सविशेष इफ विशेषा और गुणा धर्मज आर देर इन परमात्मा इन परब्रह्म तत्व देन दोज वाक्या थ्रू दोज वाक्या विच आर कोटेड बाय पूर्व पक्षी और सिद्धांत ऑल्सो एक्सेप्ट दैट देर आर मेनी अ वाक्या लाइक मेनी अ वाक्या लाइक दैट by those vakyas themselves the savisheshatva is established then why do you need this pratyakhyana upadesha so pratyakhyana upadesha anarthakyam syad when tat siddhe means savisheshatva siddhe savisheshatve sati when savisheshatva is accepted as the tatparya of the vedanta complete then what will happen तद वाक्य मीन सविशेषत्वाक्य ही तत्सिद्धि मीन सविशेषत्व सिद्ध है बिकॉज सविशेषत्व इज एस्टाब्लिश बाय सविशेषत्व वाक्या जलून देन दीज प्रत्याख्यान मीन्स विच निगेड दि सविशेषत्व दे हैव नो मीनिंग सो प्रत्याख्यान उपदेश अनर्थक्यम से सच टीचिंग विल बी फ्यूटाइल इट इज पर्पसलेस एंड यू कैनॉट हैव पर्पसलेस मंत्राज इन दि वेद सैद्या दर्शयती चातोपी स्मरियते 
darshayati chato abhismaryate here we have to be a little careful i mean by uh, uh, i'm uh, telling myself also in this uh, sutra chanting this atho api there should be no ing of padantarati kind of uh, sandhi made you cannot have atho and a cannot o and a together elsewhere would be replaced by a single okara purva rupa sandhi what is called purva rupa sandhi outside of sutra so that kind of a sandhi cannot be made here it's not done here why because there is a sutra called oath pragrayam there is this called prakriti bhava sandhi prakriti bhava means uh, what was there earlier to the sandhi expected sandhi that remains in the earlier form so prakriti bhava can be mandatory also can be optional at some places here it is oath sutra says that okara oath means okara this okara takes prakriti bhava prakriti bhava meaning it does not take sandhi so anyway darshayati cha atho api smaryate atho has the meaning of tatha so tatha api smaryate in that meaning also it is heard in this smriti it is seen in this smriti so uh, it is recalled in this smriti shruti artha is recalled in smriti also so smriti is also pramana there so darshayati cha darshayati the atha api smaryate shruti shows and it is also seen such meaning is also seen in smriti so what is that what is that shruti and what is the meaning shown this is the meaning this is the meaning means uh, the savisheshatva is not the tatpare vishaya because otherwise there won't be negation of that vishesha the gunas of brahma they are negated because in the final stage apavada is being done adhyaropa is already accepted in prakriti meaning uh, by nature everyone ha- is born with adhyasa and adhyaropa is already there prapancha exists i am separate from the prapancha ishwara if, if such an ishwara exists then that ishwara is separate from me and this prapancha all this bheda buddhi is already there naturally in every jiva exceptions may be there who have gnana in the earlier janma and some prarabdha shesha is there because of which they have taken janma but general rule utsarga is what almost everyone who is born has this naturally bheda drushti has this bheda drushti naturally and thereby teaching is needed to negate that so adhyaropa adhyaropa sthaniya vakya vichar there all the saveshesha vakyas they are all accepting the state of the sadakas or the jivas which is natural to them and thereby it starts the story there veda start the story there accepting that hypothesis and then finally negation is done after hand holding after chitta shuddhi through karma and upasana shruti start revealing what is the reality by apavada all that has been adhyaropita is taken away by neti neti kind of vakyas not this not this brahma is not this meaning you are not this whenever the word brahma comes in in the shruti in vedanta we have to understand as atma as my own real self pratyek atma so atha to adesha neti neti ityadi shruti brihat shruti says what atha ataha adesha atha has a great sense as when a person is ready to understand that then ataha thereafter what adesha what is the teaching real teaching is what nati 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 not karya not karana not stula not sukshma not manifest not unmanifest so all these no all the all of that comes in pairs so whatever is seen in pairs both are negated simultaneous you cannot retain one with the other once you retain what is appearing in pairs then if we negate one the other akanksha still remains that is also negated therefore not na iti na iti na iti twice it has been said so in the pair both are to be taken away together they are dependent on each other or not one way dependency is there may not have both way dependencies for example na iti na iti you can also see as what not sakshya then sakshi will remain yes sakshi by swarupa will never go away but sakshi shabda also is not valid there because sakshi witness of what if you say i am a witness 
then what are you a witness of that has to be said so karma akanksha remains when you say sakshi also sakshi akanksha remains so sakshi being negated sakshi cannot be the term used anymore the swarup of the sakshi definitely remains which is brahmatma which can never go away but the name tag which is given that should go away sakshi name also goes away ityadi shruti hi prapancha nisheda mukhe naiv brahma darshayati so the shruti such as na iti na iti this is the real teaching when a person is ready when the sadhaka is ready this teaching starts making sense and once that is known there are many such shrutis then prapancha nisheda takes place prapancha goes away in its form that was prior to this understanding whereby the seeker was not a seeker of reality but the seeker was seeker of manifest happiness vishaya sukha so prapancha vishaya uh, vishaya nisheda is done once nisheda is done then sukha is not being sought in those vishayas and then one becomes withdrawn completely into what into that ananda which cannot be tapped outside it is the swarupa it need not be tapped outside either it is the very swarupa which one has been seeking all along in each and every experience not only in this life but but from anadi janma so the shruti shows that brahma through teaches that brahma darshayati teaches that very brahma which has been the object of object or objective of the seeker search all along while all along being the swarupa of the seeker meaning it it is that which was never an object which could never be objectified and the subject was trying to objectify and remain the subject all along not able to grasp this brahma as an object anywhere in any vishaya even in ananda even if what felt like grasping one couldn't hold on to it it kept on slipping all along and one tried to search elsewhere and yet elsewhere again and again and again leading to the same result which was unsatisfactory therefore uh, nirveda maya nastya krita krutena brahmano nirveda maya why pariksha lokan having seen all his experiences one knows that there is nothing to be sought at all outside which will lead to nitya sukha and having given up itself there is some sukha then having understood that the source of all the sukha all the while in every pursuit was nothing but my own swarupa i was the source of all ananda one gives up completely and prapancha nisheda mukhena eva brahma darshayati brahma swarupatvena darshayati atmatvena swarupatvena sadakasya jignas jignas jignasu swarupatvena this mumukshu swarupatvena tadantaram jignasu swarupatvena because mumukshu this moksha is ananda swarupa being sought by all darshanikas and all darshanas say that ours is the way to moksha but while seeking through various darshanas nitya sukha is understood as not being available as phala to any darshanikas except for advaita vedantins why because advaita vedantas is the only one which says that is praptasya prapti and nothing other than jnana is going to take it away jnana is the sadhana to it as revealed by the shruti thereby one who was a mumukshu was what kind of a mumukshu to get this phala he has to be a jignyasu mumukshu therefore brahma mumukshu ho swarupatvena darshayati shruti hi ब्रह्म कीदृश ब्रह्म दर्शयति मुमुक्षो स्वरूपत्वेन ब्रह्म दर्शयति आत्मत्वेन जिज्ञासो हो स्वरूपत्वेन सो जिज्ञासो स्वरूप इज ब्रह्म हु इज मुमुक्षु हु वाज मुमुक्षु इज नाउ मुमुक्षु बट नाउ इज आल्सो जिज्ञासु ही जिज्ञासु मीनिंग ज्ञान इच्छु ही इज नॉट सीकिंग फॉर एनीथिंग एल्स ही इज नॉट सीकिंग फॉर 
moksha by any other means sautra sautra atho shabda this atho shabda in sutra is what tathartha has the meaning of tath tatha iti artha yasya sautra gata atho shabdasya sa atho shabda tathartha tathartha means tatha is the meaning meaning atho means tatha tatha api smaryate so atho api smaryate means what tatha smaryate tatha api smaryate so the vritti says tatha smaryate cha and it is also recalled so in this smriti granthas where bhagavad bhagavad gita su bhagavad gita su bhagavad gita shlokas plural is there so shlokas here bhagavad gita su each and every shloka is gita so across 700 shlokas if you want to say then you will have to say gita su in those 700 shlokas so bhagavad gita su nished mukhe naiva brahma smaryate how anadi mat param brahma na satanna sarucchate so bhagavad gita vachana here it is there is a typo here it is not 2 it is 3 so it is 13.13 13 shloka in the 13 chapter says what anadi mat param brahma brahma is seen to be anadi anadi mat one anadi mat param anadi mat is matupanta param param brahma what kind of param brahma it is anadi mat param meaning it is not that which has an adi it is not adi mat does not have a beginning so beginningless para brahma is said to be what beginningless means what it is, it is not a karya na sat tanna asaruchyate it is neither sat nor asat here sat has a meaning of what it it means uh, bhagwan bhashyakara says there as to uh, the sat the meaning of sat there is niyam so na sat means na jnayam it is not objectifiable it is that brahma which will never be objectified because it is the very nature of the objectifier who thinks he is a subject this subject can be called as a subject only if there is an object outside prapancha is no longer seen to be there as outside it is not having reality therefore it is not an object if it is not an object then why are you a subject you cannot be a subject why are you the sadaka subject you cannot be a subject why am i sakshi sakshya what is a sakshya as long as sakshya is there then thus far i am a sakshi but when sakshya itself is mithya everything that can be witnessed is mithya then how can i be a sakshi that sakshi term is also mithya i can remain as not sat nor asat so what is that not sat means not nyaya that which is an object of knowledge brahma is not an object of knowledge so it is not sat na asat asat means it is it does not mean that it is non existent just because i understand only that which i can see through or feel through the sense organs can cognize through the sense organs my understanding usually is what generally what do i understand what does anyone understand that which is there should be objectifiable through any of the sense organs the flip side or corollary of that is something exists because i have accessed it through one or more of my sense organs therefore it is there or in sukshma also like the french philosopher said as to what i think therefore i am it is not true how can it be that you are there because you are thinking you are not thinking sushupti but you are there otherwise we'll have all sorts of flaws which we have you know refuted in the earlier uh, sutras we have given five hetus karma anusmriti shabda and vidhi so there are five uh, hetus we have seen this one of the main hetus given which is acceptable to uh, which has to be acceptable in one way or the other to bauddha also because they start refuting it it is not acceptable the way we uh, accept uh, pratyabhijna but they say pratyabhijna is also uh, you know an appearance that's how they land on shunyatva they end up uh, negating themselves also the reality of the sakshi also swarupatvena that is not right nonetheless this pratyavijnya is a main pramana anubhava siddha to establish one's 
being continuous across multiple days from birth to death one knows that i am the same entity and this french philosopher descartes also should have however it is pronounced he also should have anubhava should have had anubhava that i am existent without thinking also so he was not thinking in shushupti was he not existent so it is a wrong philosophy as to i think therefore i am that is not the hetu reverse side may be there as to i am there therefore i think such kind of a thing can somehow we explained also but i think therefore i am is not right why because this antakarana is also mithya the intellectual faculty buddhi is also mithya so tatha smaryate anadi mat param brahmana sat tanna asaduchyate so it is not that it is not existent you cannot say that because i cannot objectify ghata exists because i see the ghata there is something out there because i can smell all these are pramanas these kind of conclusions are erroneous because just because an object can be seen heard touch touched or uh, you know felt smell tasted you cannot say that it is there that is not a good hetu because it will have two flip sides then you have to accept the swapna objects also are they there you are feeling them so that is one flip side the other flip side is what you cannot objectify yourself in shushupti so are you not there you are there your anubhava sa pratyabhijnya next day says five hetus we have shown but you will take a simple single hetu i am the same person who slept yesterday nobody can tell me otherwise i will never accept anyone who says that you weren't there or you are a different person than you were there yesterday someone can say that you have changed meaning your antakarana has changed but no one can say that you are not there you are a different person from yesterday night this morning you are a completely different person meaning you are not that who went to sleep that is not possible no sane person will accept such a logic from others also therefore this pratyavijnya is anubhav siddha it is uh, it may not be counted as pramana elsewhere listed as pramana but one knows that i know that's it i am the pramana there i don't need anything else i myself am the pramana there in swarupa that i know i was there nobody can take that away my chaitanya is a witness to that so swatah pramana it is swatah pramana swatah siddha it has swatah pramanyam and nothing else can be every pramana has swatah pramanyam unless proven otherwise here in this case in pratyabhijnya case nobody can disprove it also using any of these six pramanas nobody can disprove that i was there i don't need shruti to tell me therefore the shruti tattvamasi vakya also works in the neti neti prakriya neti neti is the main prakriya even in tattvamasi what is it saying that you are not what you took yourself to be once all that upadi is negated then what you remain doesn't does not need shruti vakya at all because i know myself as existent consciousness entity ananda may not be known right now but once the association with every upadi goes away then shruti need not tell you that you are ananda swarupa i will know on my own that i am ananda swarupa because it is my very anubhava in shushupti which is there that will be there in jagrat avastha itself so i don't need any other pramana there shabda pramana where veda rime becomes aveda shruti itself says yatra vedo avedo bhavati so veda becomes aveda there imagine that shruti in its all its glory says that even i cease to be pramana where that is your real nature shruti itself says that so i mean people claiming all sorts of things is all irrelevant because the main pramana for this itself says that i cease to be a pramana in that brahma tattva reality that you know yourself to be first hand mediate immediate not mediate immediate sakshat that is sakshatkara so nishedha mukhena 
Smriti also says, Nishyeda Mukha, therefore what this Brahma has to be nirvishesha, it cannot be savishesha. Kinja vishishtra drishtanto kti rapi nirvishesha tam asya gamayati tyaha. Puro Pakshi says that the way you are saying that this Nishyeda Shruti neti neti itself, all these pratyakhyana upadesha will become meaningless if we take savishesha as a tatparya. Now I will ask you the same question. If we take nirvishesha as Tatparya, then Savishesha will become meaningless. To this we have already answered earlier. Therefore, uh, Bhagavan Sadashiva Brahmendra is not taking up that kind of a Purapaksha at all. What was the answer given? For Upasana, they have validity. Upasana validity is not taken away of the Savishesha Vakyas. Okay. But then how will they lead to Nirvishesha then? To that the answer is given. Kincha Vishishta Drishtanta Vakti also. With various Drishtantas you can see that this Vishesha which is mentioned in various Shrutis, they will also lead to Nirvishesha only. With Gunas also you can land on Nirguna. How so? With Drishtanta it will be shown. Vishishta Drishtanta Vakti hi api Nirvishesha Tvam Asya Gamayati Ityaha. We will show using Vishesha examples how Nirvishesha can be the phala resultant of the analysis. How can you show that? To that, Bhagavan Sutrakara says, Ateva Chopama Surya Kadi Vata, Ateva Chopama Surya Kadi Vata, Ataha Eva Cha Upama Surya Kadi Vata. Like Surya example, Surya. Pratibimba, Surya ka can be seen as Pratibimba. Surya Pratibimba is there. Surya is Bimba and there are many Pratibimbas in many water bodies of the same single Surya. There is one Surya who is reflecting in many water bodies. So Upama that becomes an example. Ataha eva, that example such as Surya Ityadi, many examples are used. Surya Kadi Vata. Such examples are given in Shastra itself to reveal the Nirvishesha Brahma. Just because the Surya appears to be elongated or smaller in closer water bodies it may appear larger or you know some kind of a uh, you know concave or a convex mirror example we have seen similar kind of a watery presence. So, the presence in the water which gives a convex or a concave kind of a reflection or closer or distant, larger or smaller water body, all these can be taken and you can see various kinds of akaras of, of the Surya. Reflections, many reflections and you can also see as different shapes and sizes, flickery or study all these become examples to various kind of appearances of a single sun the sun aditya surya yataha eva ayam atma chaitanya ekarasaha parapratishedo upadeshyaha nirvisheshaha ataha eva aupadikam savisheshatvam adaya surya kadivata jalagata surya pratibimba divata iti upama upadiyate moksha shastreshu where in Moksha Shastra? What examples are given in Shastra and for what purpose are those examples? To, that is the meaning of the Sutra as to Yataha Eva Ayam Atma Chaitanya Ekarasa. Since this Atma is Chaitanya Ekarasa, meaning that Brahma which is Tanmatra, which was said as Tanmatra, which Chinmatra, that Chinmatra meaning Chaitanya Ekarasa. Since this Brahmatma is the Swarupa, in Swarupa it is what? Chaitanya Ekarasaha Ghanaha. Chaitanya Ghanaha. Chit Ghanaha. Parapratisheda Upadeshaha Nirvishesha. And it is what? It is Nirvishesha Nirguna Brahma taught through Upadesha of negating everything else everything else or everything which is different is negated if is it chaitanya it is not chaitanya then it is not me that viveka which is the first 
in the sadhana chatushtaya also that should not be dropped we are seeing that parallel in this uh, vichara sagara hindi antaranga sadhana compared to karma upasana ityadi antaranga sadhana is vivekadi vivekadi should not be given till jnana is complete one should not give up then what will shamadama ityadi should be retained even for sanyasi also shama shamakaranam uchyate yogarudasya tasseva shamakaran uchyate shama ityadi cannot be given up by sanyasi for sanyas that itself is sanyasa whether it is manasika or uh, ashramagata sanyasa that is sanyasa you cannot you cannot have a sanyasi who does not have shama shamadama ityadi should be there so for sadaka also is mumukshu for him to become a jignyasu until he does not get jnana jnana siddhi and nishtha also one should not give vivekadi and viveka is itself was parapratisheda upadeshya otherwise we cannot understand this parapratisheda whatever is different from yourself that all that is negated including your own sharira so there parapratisheda upadeshya by neti neti nirvishesha since this is brahm this brahma atma is nirvishesha nirguna atayevo therefore such examples are valid in sh- and used in the moksha shastra which examples aupadikam savisheshatvam adaya surya kadivat therefore this savisheshatva accepted by the shruti as an adhyaropasthaniya it is shown to be like this surya surya ityadi surya kadivat jalagata surya pratibimba adivat so surya takes the upadhi of jala or the water bodies and with those upadhis he forms a reflection surya it forms a reflection in that surya has not no play there surya is by swarupa itself by nature if it comes in in the meaning its light the sunlight comes in the wherever this the line of sight as far as it can reach if it comes across any water body then by very nature it will be reflected that is the nature of the surya also and nature of the water also so there is nothing uh, uh, to say that su- how, how can surya who is who has nothing to do with the water how is it reflecting that is the very nature of the water it will start reflecting surya and surya cannot help but re- reflect there so without surya reflection won't be there and without the water reflection won't be there similarly without the antakarana there cannot be reflection so called pratibimba of atma and the very nature of brahma is that when it comes in some kind of vicinity of uh, this uh, antakarana then reflection will form and that itself is the meaning of uh, anena jivatmana anupravishya that anupravesha shruti is pratibimba shruti the formation of pratibimba because brahma is there all over then where is brahma specifically why is this brahma specifically mentioned in the shruti as after creating the sharira he entered he is already there in the form of sharira appears in the form of sharira because it is all bhuta bhautika karya and akasha is in the first bhuta tasmad va de tasmad atmana akasha sambhuta has already been said so akasha onwards everything is has the pervasion of brahmatma tattva then where is this the pravesha pravesha shruti anupravesha shruti needed why is it needed what is it saying it is saying that reflection is being formed there that is the anupravesha because bimba cannot uh, enter again it's already everything is you know bimba roopa it's bimba karya vivarta karya so this formation of reflection is said to be anupravesha is meaning of anupravesha there so jalagata surya pratibimba divat like the surya pratibimba which has entered in the water body similarly iti upama upadiyate it is taught such kind of a example is taught in where moksha shastra is in moksha shastra such as what yatha yayam jyotiratma vivasvanapo bhinna bahudaiko anugachchan upadhina kriyate bhed roopo devah क्षेत्रेशम अजोयमात्मा इत्यादिषु सो विच मोक्षशास्त्र सो गिव्स एन एग्जांपल एज टू वर्ड यथा हि अयम ज्योति हि आत्मा दिस हाउ दिस स्वयं प्रकाश आत्मा विवस्वान अपह विवस्वान अपह अपो भिन्न सो दिस विवस्वान द सूर्य 
अपोभिन्न विच इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम दिस जला बहुधा एक अनुगछन सो एक बहुधा अनुगछन एंटरिंग दीज वाटर बॉडीज एज दो इन मेनी फोल्ड वेज मेनी मेनी वाटर बॉडीज इन मेनी फोल्ड वेज ऑल दो ही इज वन दिस एंड हू इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम दी वाटर बॉडी ही रिफ्लेक्ट देर उपाधिना क्रियति भेद रूप and due to this water body which is an upadina bheda roopa devaha kriyate many kinds of reflections who appear to be deva surya vivaswan himself they appear to be surya kshetreshu evam ajaha ayam atma similarly what ajaha atma bheda roopa upadina kriyate pratibimba roopa devaha effulgent atma pratibimba atma jeeva is created kshetreshu shariresu uh, sukshma shariresu and then by extension stool shariresu also kshetra which is called as kshetra and even bhagwan krishna said what kshetra jnan chapi maam vidhi sarva kshetreshu shariresu bharata in all these kshetras no all these shariras no myself as kshetra jnan one who knows the kshetra jnan is a jeeva jeeva knows the kshetra i know my sharira and bhagwan krishna says that you who knows your kshetra your sharira is me in each and every sharira no this jeeva who knows the sharira the knower jeeva as me it's a mahavakya equivalent to mahavakya there in the smriti evanja etad drishtanta baladapi and because of such examples also the reflected surya is not really surya the upadi dharmas the water flickering creating an elongated surya or shortened surya all of those are not affecting surya at all surya remains in all its glory as bimba has nothing to do with the jala and jalagata pratibimba eta drishtanta baladapi brahmana meaning the deformed or the well formed pratibimba is not really different from that surya there is no deformation at all there is no change in the original surya who remains one there is no many fold division of this surya aditya or vivaswan evanche etad drishtanta bala due to this drishtanta example strength of the example based on this example which is used in the moksha shastra अभी ब्रह्मण निर्विशेषत्ति सूत्राभिप्राय सो विथ दी सविशेषवाक्या ऑलसो वॉट इज रियली बीइंग टॉट इज निर्विशेष ब्रह्म लोन बिकॉज ऑल ऑफ दीज आर उपाधिकृत भेद उपाधिना क्रियते भेद रूप देव न तो वास्तविक भेद संभव सूत्राभिप्राय दिस् इज दि मीनिंग ऑफ दि सूत्र दट कंप्लीट दि एटीन वी लुक एट दि नाइंटीन दि नेक्स्ट पार्ट आमनायांतिक संसिद्ध आदि मध्यांत वर्जित आनंद घन महापूर्ण महात्म ज्योतिरुपास्मे नमस्ते धन्यवाद आई एम लेट फॉर द नेक्स्ट क्लास